Here we got another projectile problem, but this time we're not going to go horizontal off a, off an elevated platform or cliff. We're going to be ground level, typically, unless it otherwise states. And we're going to throw something up at an angle, or in this case, shoot. Uh, so we got 40 degrees, so there's my inner angle, at 5 meters per second. Um, that is awful, but that's the hypotenuse of this thing is 5 meters per second. Let's try to... And then this thing's going to go out and land somewhere out here. So it wants to know how far away should the target be placed. So again, we're going forward and up at the same time. So variable-wise, we're going to have a uh, horizontal motion and a vertical motion. The... They don't give us much. This 5 meters per second at 40 degrees is both an X and a Y. So we're going to have to do some trig there in a second. How far away? That's a DX. So right now, it looks like that's all we have. Um, but we also have, we do have some speeds. They gave us the hypotenuse. What we need, though, is the is the vertical and the horizontal. So really, we can do a quick little trig here. Here's VX naught. This projectile, even it was shot at 5 meters per second at 40 degrees, it means it was going forward in the x direction and up in the y direction. So we can, this makes a right triangle. We got the hypotenuse, we got the angle. For vx naught, we want the adjacent side. So I'm going to do that down here real quick. So because vx naught was adjacent, we would do cosine. So we're going to do cosine 40 equals VX naught over the hypotenuse, which is 5. So VX naught is going to be 5 times cosine 40, which is about, so it's 3.83 meters per second. So that was... That was given to us, and the problem is 5 meters per second at 40 degrees. So we had to do some math to... Um, to get that number, but it was given to us. We just had to do some an extra step. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for the vertical. We have VY naught. We just have to take a second and find it. Um, so for VY naught, that's the vertical. That's the hypo. Uh, sorry, the hypotenuse was five. Um, let's see if we can get my picture back here. So now we're looking for the the vertical here. This side here. That's the opposite side from the angle. So that instead of doing um, Instead of doing cosine, we'll do sine. So we're going to have sine. Numbers stay the same, though. Sine is still a 40-degree angle. Now it's VY naught over the hypotenuse, which was still 5. So now we're going to do 5 times sine 40 and get a VY naught of 3.21 meters per second. Um, so that's the information they gave us. So again, where do we start? We are going to start with, with the question. Um, don't overthink these. Start start with what they're asking. They're asking for dx. So just like we did with the horizontal projectiles, we're going to do with the angled projectiles. Um, so we're going to start with vx equals dx over t. Uh, vx is 3.83 equals dx, which is what we're looking for, over t. Again, we don't know t, but we can... Uh, we can find that because we can go over to our verticals and find it. Vertically, that's an acceleration problem. So we know gravity is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, now, so here we have options. Um, I'm going to take a second and show you all the options. But uh, and you can pick. Uh, I'm going to recommend one, but you can pick. Uh, there's four ways to get it. Four ways to get time. Uh, I'm going to show you the three that most people pick. So we're looking at these numbers right here. Um, we're going to take a second and find T. Again, you don't have to do all three ways. You pick one way, uh, whatever your preference is. So let's go. I'm going to need some space. Um, so let's start with... Uh, the first equation. So Vy equals Vy naught plus Gt. 
this equation has has um, what was given to us, a VY naught, G and T. So VY is how fast you hit the ground. Well, v, you went up at 3.21 meters per second. That's your VY naught. That means you came down at 3.21 meters per second as long as the ground is level. This only works if the ground's level. If the ground's not level, if you landed higher or lower from where you started, then you have to do another equation to get Vy. But because we landed, it didn't say that we didn't land level, so we're going with that assumption. The Vy will be the exact same, except it'll be negative because it's down. So it's a negative 3.21. Um, Vy naught is going to be 3.21. We got that from the, the sign, from the trig. Plus a negative 9.8 gravity times T. And we can solve this for T. Subtract this to the other side. We get a negative 6.4 something. Divide by a negative 9.8. The negatives cancel out. And you get a T, a fall time of 0.66 seconds. So that, that projectile was in the air for 0.66 seconds. That's one way to get T. So let me be very clear. That's one way. You don't have to do it that way. Um, that's just one option. You could also do same equation. Hold on, Dex. All right. So now we got. Let's see. So that was, that was the first option. So same equation, except this time we can do um, instead of looking at the whole trip, we can just go to the peak. The final velocity, the v y at the peak, is zero. You're not move vertically. You're not moving up and down at the peak. So vy is zero. Vy naught was still the 3.21 plus negative 9.8 t. So now add three or subtract 3.21 to the other side. Divide by a negative. The negatives cancel out. You get t equals 0.33 seconds. But that was only to the top. That was only halfway. So you just multiply it by two. There's your 0.66 seconds again. Um, so you get the same answer, um, two different ways of getting the same answer, but with both of these, with both of these options, you can see it all at once here, they had to be level with each other, and I already said this, if you landed above or below from where you started, then, then they're not, get, your VY and VY naught are not going to be the same, you would have to find VY. Uh, the other option is, and this is, this is how I do it all the time. You, you don't have to do it this way, but this way will always work. This equation will always work. If you do the dy equals vy naught t plus one half gt squared, then we have dy built into this equation. We can account for um, we can account for when the ground's not level. So again, this equation has the dy built into it. We can take into account if we were higher or lower. For this one, again, it didn't say that we were higher or lower. So dy, we're level where we started. So dy is zero. The um, vy naught, on the horizontal projectiles, it was zero, and you fell a certain distance, and dy wasn't zero. So for the angled projectiles ones, now we're setting it up that dy is zero, and then vy naught, we had an initial y velocity. We jumped up, or we shot something up into the air. Um, so that is, and we found that with a sign, the trig, is 3.21 times t plus one half negative 9.8 t squared. Now I'm going to do the algebra with this one just so you see this. We have a t and a t squared. It looks quadratic, and you could graph this to get the um, the value for t. Um, but because dy is zero, we can do um, some simple algebra real quick to, to simplify this down. If dy wasn't zero, then it is quadratic. You you would have to do the quadratic equation or graph it. But because dy is zero, divide everything by t. You have to divide every term. So zero divided by is t is zero. Um, these t's cancel out, so you get 0 equals 3.21 uh, plus half a 9.8 is a negative 4.9. And then that t cancels out that squared. Um, so we can take this 3.21 to the other side. The negatives cancel, divide both sides by 4.9. Um, and we can get our t, which is the same t we've been getting as 0. 0.66 seconds. And then we can plug that 
back into our vx equals dxt. We already had this done. I'm going to rewrite it. We had, and we're looking for dx. Whoops. So v, here we got vx was um, 3.8. dx was what we were looking for, and then tx was 0.66. So if we take 0.66 times 0.383, that will be our answer. And we get two and a half meters away. So if we set up the projectile launcher, set our target, measure out two and a half meters from the launcher, level with it, uh, we would hit the target. 